These are the components required for the thrust structure of the first stage in the 4D Master model of the Saturn V rocket. So in the instructions, there are not really any sequences for which to assemble first, but they are numbered from 9 through 15. So we'll just try and take them in numerical order. To do that will be, this is number nine and 10. And they fit on this piece, which is number 13. And this section is for the clear Piece that will go on there. So, piece number 10 looks to fit into this. So there you go. Press fit. I'm not going to use any glue. Holds well enough. always come back and glue it later. It does stick out a little bit, such as that. Nine goes into this structure, and you'll see one of the tabs has a hole in it. The others don't. And this goes into that hole. with the flat side on the inside. And then you just want to press fit it so it's flush. And they're pretty good. You could always remove it if you wanted to, but press fit. 11. All of these are 11 with a decal and a clear section. Let's do, we'll add the clear one. Ooh, very loose fit. That's not going to stay. So, still haven't figured out what type of glue, although that feels like polystyrene. So I'm gonna have to figure somehow to figure out some way to test it to see if it'll bond. And we'll end up gluing that later at a different point in time. And then I was looking in, at different photos and the fins are numbered going around counterclockwise. I assume that's so they know the orientation of what side of the rocket they're looking at, looking at side A, or you can only assume that. Again, and so A would be opposite of C, which is on the clear one. So we'll take A, put it opposite of where the clear will go. Again, two corresponding holes. This one has a little tighter fit. Still could come out pretty easy, but again, we'll figure out if we're going to super glue this later. Should stay in there well enough that we're not going to lose it. And again, counterclockwise. Ooh, that one's loose. Yeah, it seems to be staying. And then... D. That one was pretty good tight fit. I don't think that one would go anywhere. All right. That takes us to the 
fuel in the locks ducts or tunnels. I think these were called tunnels and then there's ducts inside of them that actually transfer the fuel and the liquid oxygen. So you'll notice that one of them has a shorter base than the other four. This is for the center supply. So you'll see on here, these bases will fit into here and the short, this shorter one fits in the center. They seem to be press fit. So let's see how they go. So that went in there pretty well. Feels like they go down pretty far. Oh, they do. These, I would say, are not coming out. I don't like the angle of that one. I may have put that in wrong. We'll find out. Or I may just need to. Oh, so I did put it wrong. If you look carefully, these are beveled and then you want them facing in towards the center so the instructions don't really show that bevel so you got to figure this out so now i got to get that one i just put in taken out without breaking it let's see how, because that went in pretty deep and tight Oh, it's coming out. All right, cool. Yeah, this one is beveled too. So you want to take that bevel and make sure it angles in towards the center of the rocket. See, you can learn from my mistakes. Fortunately, with a little bit of wiggling, that came out fairly easily. Oh, I don't think I want to use that. These pieces, I believe, should be all the same. Let's just make sure we get the bevel in the right direction. screwdriver. I'm going to use a flat bladed screwdriver to push these in a little bit better. And some of them seem to have a little flash on them. So it makes it a little harder than the others to get it in. Take the bevel, make sure we've got it the right way. So they're all facing in towards a rocket so you'll have something like that they still have to finish pushing them in all the way These seem to be tight enough. I would think they wouldn't need any glue. I wouldn't want to be taking them in and out a lot because it feels like this could break pretty easy much manipulation because the fit is tight enough. Right. That's actually pretty 
even once they're all in place. clear piece. See how well it goes on. Alright. Seems to be tight enough. Probably won't require any glue. Can't really see much behind the ribbing. And then instructions actually showed you probably put this ring on first, and then you put these in, but these seem to go in pretty easy without this on. And then clear should line up with this one because you'll see this has a notch right here, protruding notch. And the other pieces don't. And then this has a corresponding recess notch for that to go into. So that slides in there pretty well. I don't know what's supposed to keep it in there because that's gonna come out pretty pretty easily. May end up putting some glue on that one. As we go further, we'll find out if uh, some, something's supposed to hold that in there a little tighter. If not, put a little super glue in it, probably from this side, and then uh, make that permanent. So there we have the completed thrust, bot thrust structure for the bottom of the first stage. Next we'll move on to assembling the first stage components, mostly the uh, liquid oxygen and the fuel tanks.